Hello there and welcome to the Hash Power Academy, your place to learn anything and everything to do with Bitcoin from the fundamentals. The topic of today's video is going to look at the comparison of gold and Bitcoin, their market caps, which right now gold's market cap in rank one as an asset is 10 times higher than Bitcoin. So the price of Bitcoin today needs to increase 10x to 1.1 million to outperform gold. But here's the thing, the price of gold is changing, the price of Bitcoin is changing. The, the supply of Bitcoin is reaching its full 21 million. The supply of gold, who knows? And so what we need to do is understand what is going to change to anticipate what price of Bitcoin that it outperforms gold. Yes, the Moon Boy metrics are coming out. So 10.3x, that's the amount that it needs to increase today. But here's the thing, if the price of gold were to increase to say $4,000, 4,000, um, we need to understand what this multiplier is, which is, I've already done the numbers, 26 trillion, 26.86 trillion. Now we need to divide 26.86 by 2.2, which gives us a figure of not 10.3x, but 12.211 to be very specific. And then we multiply that by the Bitcoin price and we get an answer of 1.355 million. 1.355 million. So 1.355 million per Bitcoin at a point where gold has reached $4,000 an ounce and Bitcoin would need to reach 1.355. If it's a $5,000 uh, gold predicted price, that increases to 1.7 million. So I'm gonna write that. So can we see a Bitcoin price of 1.7 million? Maybe, but this is assuming it going up to $5,000 an ounce for gold. And so understanding that these two assets are correlated in, in the essence of their scarcity, one through its atomic weight and hard to, hard to produce in the physical world, and its value derived from its scarcity as well, and its timelessness versus Bitcoin, which has transcended energy into a digital domain and its scarcity preserved over time to afford us more purchasing power. We clearly know which one's going to stand the test of time, but when that point is reached, this cycle, I'm not so sure. 1.7 million this cycle, that would be extremely bullish. Uh, or even down to the 1.3, 1.4 million per Bitcoin. What could affect this is also that what if the price of gold doesn't actually increase that much because we see so much demand specifically for Bitcoin in the digital age of the 21st century. Uh, potentially it could go down, but potentially both of these assets shoot up to insane price valuations in dollars because it's not the Bitcoin or the gold that aggregates these prices in dollar terms. It's the amount of dollars flooding into circulation and distorting these prices. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.